Hey guys, this is GameCow. Welcome back to the Pokemon May International Championship. There are 12 games in Day 2 left to play here. Let's just knock a couple of them out. So last time we had a couple of really harsh losses. Uh, harsh losses is the wrong word, but went 0-2 last time. There were a couple of uh, close games, but just out-resourced at the end. And yeah, nicely played by both opponents there. But uh, let's see what we can do against this one. Uh, we have got, hey, Duraludon. Whimsicott, Duraludon. There's a Pikachu on that team as well. Oh boy. Um, I would like to go Incineroar Mimikyu so I could prevent G Max Fault Crash. But that loses to Gyarados if the Gyarados is Intimidate. Um, loses to it pretty hard, actually. But I still might do it anyway, because I think that could be the best bet here. This doesn't look like a super favorable matchup. They've got Tailwind and like lots of firepower. The paralysis rate could also be really bad. Pikachu does a ton of damage. Not really sure what I'd have as an out to that. I think Ferrothorn has got to come in here. What would be the alternative, actually? Could I go, like... Dragapult instead. Whimsicott against Whimsicott? Um, probably not. Primarina looks okay here. Dragapult does look good if I could stop Tailwind going up. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe Tyranitar was better, but I don't particularly like Tyranitar against, like, Duraludon. Ah, uh, Tyranitar is good here, though. Well, let's just see how this goes. Props for bringing a Pikachu team to this, though. Yeah, Whimsicott Gyarados is pretty bad. Because Gyarados just max Airstreams turn one, right? Oh, it doesn't have Intimidate, it's got Moxie. Interesting. So, Geyser seems really obvious then. I'm gonna... Do I want a Sword Stance here, though? That could be the play. No, because then Mimikyu gets doubled up on next turn. Phantasm's probably better. Phantasm, and do I still fake out? It's at minus one. I might survive guys at minus one. This pretty much is just hinging on Gyarados, not, uh, not Gyarados, Whimsicott not using Protect though, right? Because if it has Protect, that's a big problem. Gyarados can just Airstream and that gets the same effect, basically. That I don't... I don't think I have the exact out that I need here. I needed to bring Dragapult. Okay, no Dynamax, so that's good. Whimsicott has a Jet button. Didn't switch through. Okay. So it was going for Tailwind. What are they bringing in? Dragapult? Oh, it's in. Okay, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. So that means Gyarados is gonna... is it? Oh, is that a crit? That has to be a crit. Yeah. So is Gyarados gonna Dragon Dance then? Is that what we're seeing? That Y has been so... fine with this? No, just Waterfall. Well, now I want to stay in. <laughs> is it worth it? It's gonna fake out against me though. It might be worth it. It's probably Assault Vest on Gyarados then if he went for that. I really want to switch, I do, because I think he's gonna fake out or waterfall that slot.
No, I'm gonna stay in. This is this is so aggressive and so unnecessary. He did not go for He did not go for fake out. Interesting. Is he hitting Mimikyu then? No, he's just going waterfall. Okay. So then what is Insin going for? Parting? Well, probably Parting Shot. If I had to guess. If it's not going for Fake Out, it's got to be Parting Shot. No, U-turn. Okay, close enough. Ah, this means that Mimikyu now is vulnerable, though, to the Whimsicott, the Gyarados stuff here. Gyarados is a neutral attack. Whimsicott is definitely coming in here. So I wonder if I just max guard to to block out. Yeah, so Ferrothorn is the obvious switch. I wonder if I just max guard to block out an attack against Mimikyu. What could Gyarados kill Mimikyu with though? Neutral attack. Because that's that's the question that I have right now. Is what is it actually gonna do? I think I just KO it. I don't think it can kill me in one hit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Gyro Ball, uh, Phantasm Gyro Ball here. So Whimsy's gonna switch out. That's actually quite smart. It's going back into Incin. Yeah, this is why Incineroar is so good, by the way. But the Gyarados is staying in, obviously. I can outspeed and kill that. So at least I didn't mess up that too much. I'll get the defense drop another crit. Wow. Last time I checked, Shadow Ball, uh, Shadow Claw's critical hit rate didn't get applied to Max Phantasm. So, oof. All right. That's still a lot of damage. I'm at minus two, it's a minus one defense. I wonder if Play Rough just kills it from there. It might. Because I don't really want to switch in Dragapult right now. Depends what this last one is though. Pikachu! Okay, I have Max Starfall. I mean, he's. hasn't Dynamaxed. I see. Okay. Um, but I still have the the terrain up. I'm gonna play rough, and I'm gonna. Am I gonna switch into Dragapult? I kind of want to power with the Pikachu. Pikachu can't touch Ferrothorn. It's do I think that a minus two play rough is gonna kill against minus one Incin? Um, the answer to that is actually not really. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out. This is pretty readable, but I think it's still the best play. So we're gonna get G-Max Pikachu coming out here. That's interesting. At least I think we are. Would make sense. There he is! The Tubby Chew himself! P to you too. Ferrothorn beats it though, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, it doesn't kill! Ooh, okay, good job I did switch out. It's gonna... There's G-Max Vault Crash, that's gonna kill the Mimikyu. I'm okay with this. Mimikyu's done its job. Although I would have liked Shadow Sneak still, I guess, but it's done its job. That's what I needed it to do. And Flare Blitz, Insane kills itself. Okay. That's really good. It does a lot of damage, but that is really good. Because Ferrothorn wins this endgame. I guess Fake Tears could be a problem? But Ferrothorn should win this endgame, no problem. Does Pikachu kill Dragapult though? That's the question. Does it matter if it does? Uh, controller? Okay. 
Do I double off a Whimsy just in case? I think so. Like Flamethrower? Because I think Flamethrower kills Whimsicott here. There's no Tailwind up, so if he goes for Tailwind to go after Dragapult, Pikachu still doesn't win out there. So he's going to Tailwind, probably Tailwind Vault Crash into Dragapult. Oh, Starfall. It's got Play Rough. Okay. So it's a physical Pikachu? Interesting. Well, Gyro Ball will one-shot Whimsicott. And now, I think I protect to stall out the last turn of Dynamax. And I should win from there. I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's not even Dynamax, it's Gigantamax, but you know, same difference, right? Yeah, I think this is a win. Because you can't paralyze me with Volt Crash. There's no fire attack. I mean, it, if it uh, is physical, it's probably got Brick Break, right? Max Geyser. It's mixed. So it just has play rough anyway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that did like negative damage because I'm going to recover that from leftovers. So what's the best that you've got now? Thunder? We've seen Vault Crash, Surf, Play Rough. I don't think there is anything this Pikachu could have that would take on Farrowfall right now. I am at neutral attack too, and it's under Tailwind, so I think Gyro Ball is probably strong enough to get. If not the kill, then it's going to be so close that... So let's say it does have Brit Break, that probably two shots me at best. Maybe not even after Leftovers and Protect. Pikachu is strong with Light Ball, but not that strong. It needed to. If it had Brit Break, it would have maxed Knuckles. So there's no. There's nothing that it has, right? I think this. I think it's over. Yeah, Volt Tackle. That's gonna do so much to yourself as well, and really doesn't do anything to me. Cool animation though. I think this is the first time I've seen Volt Tackle. I imagine Gyro Ball just wins outright here. Yeah, because of the Tailwind. Awesome. Big guy, big guy to you too. Always feels good taking out Pikachu. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay, so after the disappointment of the last, uh, the last one, we do pick up a win at the start of this spot. That's good. That match took a reasonable amount of time, though, so I might only play the one more here. I wanted to get three games good done a thing here because we had twelve games left to play. It would have made sense, like four videos, but that game took over thirteen minutes to play. So I don't know. 1537. Let's see. Ooh, wow. There's a more Pico on that team. Ninetales is interesting. Uh, Conkeldor uh, could be a problem. Again, half the team is weak to fighting. So I have to watch out for that. More Pico is a really interesting one. Uh, does it speed tie my Mimikyu? I think it's. I think it's like one point lower or something. Um, I'll have a look real quick if I can find it. Uh, da, 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 da. It's under M. More Pico. Do, 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 do. It is 97. It speed ties Mimikyu. Mimikyu does still seem really good here though. Um, obviously Tyranitar on the back is really good. I'm thinking... What, Mimikyu and Cineroar seems pretty good? Because again, I'm always looking at it as the Max Starfall approach here, and then Primarina is really good in the back as well. Ferrothorn isn't too good here, half the team beats it. Dragapult is okay. But it doesn't really swing too hard on a lot of the stuff there. Because um, Prim has got too much special defense for it to handle. Venusaur, you don't want to max flare against it. 
Charizard it can hit pretty hard, but so can Tyranitar deal with that slot. I don't want to start the weather because that gives my opponent the switch initiative. Yeah, more Pico Ninetales, interesting. Not quite how I thought this was going to go at the start, but hey, I get the Intimidate on more Pico, that's really good. I don't think I need to switch out Incineroar here. So what is the worst that you could do this turn? Probably Blind Hypnosis would be the worst thing that could happen here. I'm going to Swords Dance and go for Fake Out on the Nine Tails. I'm probably going to get hit by Fake Out for more Pico. But I feel like this is the worst thing that you could do, is uh, Blind Hypnosis hit the Mimikyu. So there's the Fake Out onto the Incin, as I thought. Will-O-Wisp. Uh, that's also pretty bad, actually. I couldn't have dodged that with Max Starfall because Ninetales is too fast. But at least I neutral I like even it out. So it could be worse. Okay, so now the Morpico's got an elect uh dart type attack for its main thing. Okay, so what do we do? Shadow Claw? Is there a world where I Dynamax the uh is there a world that I Dynamax the Incin here? Probably not. I think I just go... La um... Let's go that into more Pico and Lariat into Ninetales here. Okay, that's gonna switch out into Charizard. That's a good damage, a good bit of damage on the Charizard here. Then, on Taunt, that's fine. I only have Sword Dance as my thing that way, so I should be good there. He won the Speed Tie though, which is a little bit annoying, but we're fine. Maybe there is a world where I Dynamax the Incin then. I still have my Disguise too. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, maybe I do Dynamax the Incineroar here. Most of the time, Morpico doesn't have Protect. So I think I'm just going to Shadow Sneak. I'm going to Shadow Sneak the Charizard. No, because it could still G-Max. Yeah, I think I need to Shadow Sneak the... I don't even think it, it... It kills if it doesn't Dynamax, but I think that's what it's going to do. So I think I do on hit the Morpico and just Darkest Larry out the Charizard. That should kill it even if it does G-Max. Oh, I didn't do that though. But I still have my Disguise, so I shouldn't get hit too hard this turn. I don't think Charizard is really going to be able to do that much here. Heat Wave, it misses Incin, doesn't miss Mimikyu, so now I lose my Disguise. That's okay. Missing Incin is actually really big for me here. I do not take extra damage there, which is really good. Life Orb as well, as expected. And Darkest Lariat will get a kill. Yeah, because Incineroar would have taken like probably 35-40% from that, so getting getting a Heatwave miss is definitely in my favor. We still have Mimikyu around, which is good. So there's Conkelda. Kind of expected that. This is why I didn't want to Dynamax Incin, although now I could. Because Mimikyu is going to go down to Ninetales here. So I think what my opponent is probably going to do is like attack the Mimikyu, maybe Heat Wave. And. Max Knuckle my Incin. So I think I want to Max Flare the Conkeldo here. Um, although I am going to outspeed it. So maybe I just Darkness the uh, Ninetales. I should win this because I have Primarina in the back, right? Do I have Primarina in the back? I have Tyranitar in the back, which is not great.
I think I still win this. Because we've seen Life Orb on the Charizard, so it's not Life Orb on Conkeldo. Probably Flame Orb, actually. So it might just protect this turn to get that going. No, it doesn't protect. So get the Shadow Stink. This breaks Focus Sash, is what I'm looking at here. Nine Tails goes for Dark Pulse. Yep, takes out the Mimikyu. Doesn't take out the Mimikyu. Never mind. Yep. He hasn't. There's been no Dynamax yet. So what is he waiting for? What's Conkelda gonna even do here? Yeah, it's just gonna Drain Punch. Okay, well, I easily survived that. Get my plus two. And it looks like this game is a wrap. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And then burns lower damage in from Gen 7. Works out here. And there's the Flame Orb. Doesn't matter. Not at this point. Did I have Prim in the back? I did have Prim in the back, so we were fine anyway. I don't think there was any way that we could have lost this one. Uh, yeah, Weakness Policy Incineroar. Coming in clutch again. Yeah, it's got Protect. That's fine. Uh, Max Guard would have been better there, I think. Mimikyu's gonna get KO'd by that, but it really doesn't matter here. That is so much damage! <laughs> oh boy, when you get this stuff to work, it is so powerful. <laughs> it just does so much. Yeah, there's just there's been no Dynamax for my opponent either. They needed to, to max guard there. So we'll bring out Prim so I can Moonblast Moon Blast Max Flare. And there we go. Yeah, Mark Punch not gonna do enough. But even if it did, it wouldn't really make a difference. And okay, bouncing back from the uh, from the issues of yesterday. Oh, uh, yesterday? Yeah, it would be yesterday. It's right, right next to each other in my recordings. But yeah, yesterday in terms of putting videos up. Yeah, took two painful losses yesterday and come back with two pretty good wins here. It's at 22 minutes. I could maybe play another one. You know what? Yeah, let's play another one. We've we haven't been going as long as a lot of these would be. So once again, at around about that 1600 rating, I'm at roughly where I was expecting to be at best as far as win loss goes. Like two thirds win rate is about where I would uh, where I would imagine I'd end up if I played like really well. There's a Rotom cut. There's another Dracovish too. Whimsicott, Whimsicott, Dracovish, Duraludon. This looks, it's quite an old looking team, but uh, still pretty strong. Incin's gotta come in here once again. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking Incineroar or Dragapult could be good, but that loses to Togekiss Dracovish. So I think Mimikyu might be the better option for handling um, Draco. Um, Tyranitar's not very good here, most of the things hit it really hard. I mean, I've been saying that against most teams, and it's true. Tyranitar does tend to hit a lot of this stuff really hard. I imagine it's a fire attack on Togekiss, so Ferrothorn is a bit sketch. Pre-Marina looks solid. Rotom is a problem, but I think that can get handled. Then maybe Dragapult, if I can stop Trick Room, for, not Trick Room, Tailwind from going up. It's either that or Ferrothorn. Dragapult does deal with a lot of stuff here, though. I'm gonna go with the aggressive option. I think Ferrothorn definitely has a place here, because it's really good against Rotom, it's good against Togekiss if it doesn't have a fire move, it's really good against the Duraludon, and it's good against the Dracovish as well. But I want to go with the aggressive uh, option here, I think. So what are we seeing first here? Duraludon. Okay. Admittedly not the greatest of opening matchups. It's 
So what I'm sort of tempted to do here is Dynamax the Incineroar. Because I could go Max Knuckle on the Duraludon. Because, okay, Tailwind is going up, no matter what. I think I'm okay with that. And then Shadow Claw against the Whimsicott. Because that should set it up in two-shot range, right? I could have play roughed. That would have been another out here. But I think this is fine. Because I should get plus one from this as well. Duraludon doesn't have too much that it can hit Incineroar with. Like, Body Press is physical, so that wouldn't do a lot as a Dynamax Mon. I think Whimsicott might actually protect here. But, like, Mimikyu is protected by its disguise on turn one, so. That also isn't an appealing target for Duraludon to go after. So, I think we're just gonna see Tailwind and maybe Wormwind into Incin here. At which point Max Knuckle will- oh, Helping Hand, okay. Well, that blocks out the Fake Out, so at least I didn't go for that. So we get Shadow Claw, does decent damage? Uh, decent damage. It's not quite enough to get a two-shot and Wormwind, yeah. So this ought to hurt- oh my god, it crit? No! No, that's so lame! Oh my god, okay. That's game over on turn one. No coming back from that. Oh, that is so weak. <laughs> Life orb crit. Oh, wow. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, what could I have done if I expected that? I could have switched in Pre Marina and been immune to it is what I could have done. That's the only thing that would have worked. Ow! Yikes. Okay, um, I guess I go Swords Dance. That's so brutal. Yeah, Fate Tears. Not much I can really do at this point. It's got Lightning too, hasn't it? I mean, we're not going to quite give up yet, but... Ow. Yeah, it's got Max Lightning. And that just one-shots as well. Oh my god. It wasn't a crit this time. Yeah, that's really powerful. Welp. Yep. There's... I mean, what can you do? What can you do? Because now it just tailwinds. And, I mean, we've lost anyway. There's absolutely no way that I can possibly do anything from here, no matter what happens. Yeah, because I can, like, Draco and play rough it, but that's still not even going to kill it. And all I have to do is knock out Dragapult here. If I had Focus Sash on it, maybe, but... So I don't even hit it super effective, so Expert Bell doesn't do anything here. It'd have to be, like, Choice Vex and a crit. And even then... Yeah, it's just Tailwind. Wow. Yeah, no, not really anything I can do with that. Steel Spike, start going into Dragon Ball still. That still kills. Wow. Huh. Okay, I didn't actually know that would still get in the knockout, but sure. I mean, Life Orb, it makes sense, right? <laughs> well, that was, that was sad. As a, a way to finish off stuff there. I have, yeah, not really anything you can do. I lost on turn one because of a critical hit. That's pretty much as, as far as it goes. There's... I know I survived that without the crit. And if I don't get hit by the critical hit there, I get max knuckle off with probably 50% of its health or so. Okay, maybe not, because Instant's not fighting type. Uh, and it was going to be at minus one. Yeah, I, I guess I could have switched out on that. It's a really well played, uh, well played thing there. 
But still, the crit is what absolutely killed it. Alright, well I'm definitely done at the moment. 14 and 7 is still really good. Just absolutely crushing here. <laughs> oh, it's sad, but hey, it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourselves. I've got 9 games left to play today. Um, I might end up leaving some of those for tomorrow. Because, yeah, honestly, it's a lot of Pokemon that are being played today. <laughs> It's it's tough out there, but hey, we did go positive today though. Today's record in total from all of these videos was 8 and 5, which is not as strong as we started with, but still a positive result. And two of those, I okay, one and a half of those was down to luck, like of the losses. Um, I can't say that that last one was down to down to luck entirely, like yeah, it just beat me turn one because of because of that luck, but I don't think it was entirely down to that. I could have switched in against a Wormwind and had something to work with there, but yeah, I don't know. That was just very well played and not much I could not much I could think to do. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed yourselves. Still got some more to record eventually, but uh, we will get to that later on. So until next time, take care everyone. Hey guys, quick addendum to the video here. This is recorded on Sunday, the day after I did all of the uh, battle videos here, the last six. And unfortunately, my internet is really not that stable today. Um, I tried to do some streaming in the afternoon with friends, as I always do on Sundays, and it did not go very well at all. For over half an hour, it was consistently dropping frames, and even when I tried my best to lower stuff down, it just did nothing. So I don't trust that even the low maintenance of battle spot is, oh, what, you know, mind battles here, is going to work. As a result, I'm going to leave it here at a 14-7 win rate, which is still really good, and I'm still happy to have played in this. One of these times I might be able to play all of the games in, a, in an IC, but for now, I think this is a fine spot to leave it. So instead, here's the team. I posted this on my Twitter when I started the, or like the day before the IC, because I used this to get to Master Vault here as well, with an 8 and 1 win record in the end. Uh, I won one game in Master Ball as well, it's 7 and 1 is what it took to get there, but yeah, 8 and 1 before the tournament started, it's a really strong team overall. Uh, a couple of interesting sort of points here, I guess, the Paso Berry on Tita was because rain was being an issue for me. Um, the Hydro Pump on Pre-Marina is because Colossal teams have been a bit of an issue for me, so I could go Max Geyser with Pre-Marina, which is still good. And the Speed Tiers are on the base 60s and Tyranitar are all set to be faster than most people invest in those Pokemon. So I usually get the jump on things like Lapras, or Grimmsnarl, or other Incineroar especially, stuff like that. But yeah, if you want to see the spreads, they're mostly fairly standard outside of that. But check the team out if you want, it is definitely strong. And let me know if you want me to do more stuff like this. Because just because the IC is basically over now, if I have a decent day and some spare time and recording stuff, I can always play some Pokemon online. I do need to do more of it. But let me know in the comments if that's something you'd want to see. Hopefully by the end of June, when the fiber upgrade is now set to happen, we should be able to do more of it on stream and I can actually, you know, play some more games and highlight them that way. But for now, this would be okay. So yeah, just let me know. But thank you for watching anyway. The six videos done here were honestly a lot of fun. Um, as stressful as Pokemon can be, you know, competitive of any format really. It's something that I do enjoy and love to analyze here, so I would like to get a little bit better with this. So, yeah, if you want to see that journey, just let me know. Alright, peace.